it's nice here. It's, it's, it's like quiet, just kind of laid back. Ain't got much money. Ain't got much food. Still we act like those that do. We got a job just so we could pay for all the things that get us to. Our jobs every day Ain't much has changed Ain't much is new Just more bills to pay More reasons to wear shoes I know our freedom lies Around that bell We can laugh like peasants again Fly, fly, the only difference between democracy and old-fashioned slavery is that in democracy you do not have to feed your slaves when they die more come eagerly to take their place the only thing we've done here it seems is made ourselves more visible to the king i wanna go where royalty doesn't know my name or i can laugh like a peasant again we spend the youthful part of our lives building a retirement fund just so we can decide someday when we're 90 and we can barely move we have all the money to do all the things that youthful person wanted to. Oh, I want to simplify. I want to lay in your arms. I know we can make the world smile just by singing our song. And then we'll head back to the farm with our friends. And we can laugh like peasants again. Oh, we can laugh like bells and dogs <laughs> These are nice hippies that are going to help save you. Oh, I am so honored to be called a hippie by you, Stephen. <laughs>
you're the community organizers, actually. They're the community organizers. And they go to the back row and they confront their oppressors. And, and of course, these folks back here are all defensive and in denial and they're saying, you know, who, us, what, we never took more than our share. <laughs> there's a, there's a, they're even more ignorant of the, of the history that they've engendered than we are, actually. So. <laughs> This is not a solution. We've done this. Folks, we, remember, we do this every time, don't we? So, no, but this doesn't work because then we end up re-inhabiting the same set of patterns that were oppressing us to begin with. So, of course, we have to, okay, so you've got the community organizers and they're saying, okay, everybody get out of your box, get out of your box, you know, mix it up a little bit, take, take on a different shape, no hitting, no hitting, stop hitting. <laughs> This game does not have to end. This game will be sustainable. So, you know, somebody says, okay, I really do have more than my share. I can share. And somebody says, okay, I've got a lot of great ideas. And somebody says, I've got a lot of time. So they start trying out some ideas. This is where we are. And now we're going to be doing this more and more and faster. One of the things that we've noticed in Portland, Oregon, is that the more and better and faster we do this, the more sense of cultural strength and power and beauty we experience, and the more and more it starts to happen faster. Um, so somewhere back in the 60s and 70s, there was this urge to take back the uh, waterfront to move the freeway off of the west side and create a mile-long people's park. This happened against the wishes of the State Department of Transportation, this great collaboration. This collaborative culture actually started to rise, and we didn't realize it. We were just like, okay, you do this, okay, we'll do this. And then it was manifesting in this physical infrastructural change. Then we went downtown and we said, okay, what is going on here? This city has existed for 150 years without one single public square, and yet that's supposed to be the heart of community. So we said, okay, let's take the two-story parking garage here at the very heart of the town and turn it into a, a village square. We started by painting the rooftop of the parking garage um, on a weekend to basically take space and make place to have this impact very quickly all at once. It helped that the mayor said, no, no, you can't do that. That would facilitate a revolution. We were like, oh, that's a great idea. 